Now in this lesson we'll do some work on numbers up to 999. Now this first one here, we're going to use some blocks. We'll call this one a short, which is the number one. This one here we'll call a long, which has ten blocks. And this one here we'll refer to as a flat, which has one hundred little blocks. Okay, so we'll call short, long, and flat. You might have heard them as different names, but that's the ones we'll use. Examples. Write the number shown by these blocks. Part A, we have a number of flats, a number of longs, and then some shorts. Now let's see what we've got. Remember, each flat is worth 100. So we're going to count in hundreds. 100, 200, 300. So 300 so far. Then we write plus. Now these longs, they're worth 10 each. So let's count in tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So we're adding 50 with that. And we write plus again. And these shorts are just worth one each. So just counting in ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So let's write the 7 down as well. So let's add this now. 300 plus 50. Well, that's 350 plus another 7 equals 300. And 57. Now a number there, let's just write that up the top here. We're going to look at it a different way too, using a table with columns. The right hand column, ones, the next one is tens, the next column is hundreds. Now let's consider the hundreds firstly. There were three flats, so we have three lots of hundreds. Now the tens were represented by the longs. So we had one, two, three, four, five of them. So let's write five in the tens column. And finally the ones or units, sometimes known as units, we had seven of them. So we can see three, five and seven makes the number 357. Terrific. Part B, we have one flat a few longs and some shorts as well. Okay, so we just got the one flat, so that is just 100. Okay, these longs are worth 10 each, so we have 10, 20, 30, 40. So let's write the 40 down. And these shorts, just ones, count in ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So let's write the 8 down. So what have we got? We've got 100 plus 40, that's 140, plus another 8 equals 148. Alright, again, let's write our number up the top there. And again, let's consider using the table. The right-hand column is 1s, then 10s, then 100s. Firstly, 100s, how many did we have? We just had one of those. How many 10s did we have? That's right, four. And how many ones? Do you remember? We had eight. So looking at those numbers, one, four, and eight, 148. Now let's consider part C. A number of flats there, a number of longs, and some shorts. Well, let's count in hundreds. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. Plus, counting in tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Plus, and just counting in ones, well, what have we got? 1, 2. So let's add these numbers. 600 plus 70 is 670, plus another 2 equals 672. Now using our table with columns, ones, tens, hundreds. How many hundreds did we have? We had 6. How many tens did we have? We've got 7. And how many ones? 2. So we're looking at the number there, 672, 
672. Terrific! Moving on to some further examples, we need to expand the numbers. In part A, 532. Let's just write this over here, a bit of working space, and let's look at the columns again. Ones, tens, hundreds. Now the 2 is in the ones column. The 3 is in the tens column. And the next number, 5, is in the hundreds column. So we're going to use this to help us expand the number. We have 5 in the hundreds column, that's worth 500. The 3 is in the tens column, so 3 lots of 10 is 30, so we write plus 30. And finally the 2 is in the ones or units column, 2 lots of 1 is simply 2, so we just write plus 2 on the end. Part B, 694. Well, let's write the 694, but let's do this time without the table. The 4 is in the 1s, then the 9 is in the 10s, and then we move to the 100s column. So let's start with the 100s. We have 6 of them. 6 lots of 100 equals 600. Now this is the 10s column. We've got 9. 9 lots of 10 is 90, so we add 90. And finally the 4 is in the 1s, so 4 lots of 1, simply 4. We're just going to add the 4 on the end there. Part C, 820. So let's write this down again, starting from the right. 1s, 10s, 100s. We have 8 lots of 100s, so that's 800 to start with. Now this is the 10s column, so 2 lots of 10 is 20, so let's add 20. And this is the ones column, but there's zero there, there's nothing there, so there's nothing to write. Part D, 205. Let's write the number down again. Ones, tens, hundreds. We have two hundreds, which is 200. Now, that's the tens column, we have nothing there, zero. So nothing times ten is still zero, so nothing to write. Moving on then to the 5, which is in the 1's column. And uh, if it's in the 1's column, it's simply that number. So the 5, we add on the end.